What's going on guys? It's Lexi B03 and welcome back to my YouTube channel. For today's video, I am going to be doing a car tour. Not too long ago, in around February, I got my first car at 16 years old. And if you have not seen that video, make sure you go check it out and then come back for this one. But yeah, so I decided to do a car tour since a lot of people are asking for it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you give it a big thumbs up, hit the post notification bell, and hit that subscribe button and enjoy the video. <laughs> Alright you guys, if it gets windy, I apologize. I'm gonna try to speak up, but I don't have a dead cat on the camera, so I apologize. So my car is a 2020 Honda Civic EXL. It is all black. It's black on the outside and black interior. This is exactly what I wanted, you guys. I love it so much. The only thing I would change about the car is the rims. I love them. Well, I don't love them. I like them, but I don't love them. Um, I don't know. The rims, I wanted them to be like more like, I don't know aggressive looking but I love my car so much and we're gonna go on the inside see what we got to the inside <laughs> all right you guys so um, first off here are my keys this is what the key looks like um I have a push to start so I don't have to actually put the key in but also I have stitch on my keys y'all know I love stitch I have my house key and then I have this cute little band. So right here is the steering wheel. It's a normal steering wheel. Uh, it has like voice command on it. I can answer the phone. I can hang up the phone. I can do my volume. I can control um, the music here. Um, and then it has lane assist. I don't know what these are. Some of these buttons, I don't know what they do, but I'll learn. <laughs> Over here, um, this is like my blinkers and my lights. I keep my lights on auto. But one cool thing about the car, which I'll show you, that's how you turn it on, by the way. One cool thing about the car that I absolutely love, it's a its a feature that I love that I couldn't live without now that I've lived with it. When I turn on the right blinker, I get this screen so I can see. So I technically don't have to check my blind spot. I still do out of habit, but um, I technically don't have to on my right side. But if I don't want to turn on the blinker and I just want to see it, I can hit that button and it'll still come on so that's so cool i love that about the car but then over here we have you know the hot and cold i had the miles per hour the range the average um fuel whatever that is this is my gas yes i'm kind of almost empty but that's okay i haven't been driving anywhere over here these are my windshield wipers i can control like the mist how fast they go all that stuff um and now for my favorite part of the car guys this is the um screen i love this part so much so this is like Honda's little thing right but then I have Apple CarPlay so if I plug in my smartphone and then I press smart connection look at that look at that Apple CarPlay that is so cool I absolutely love it um, I can control my music I can control my phone I could see I have um, maps on here too oh dang that's where I live <laughs> hello I can control um, who I call. These are my favorites. And um, my favorite thing, do is the music. I love this part. You can control, like, everything. Like, it's so cool. I love it. Um, but I just have the home button, the audio button, the phone button, and the back button. I, I rarely use these just because this is all touchscreen. Um, this is, like, the audio. So, like, I can turn it up and down. This right here is my air, which is currently turned off because you guys will hear the the sound of the air so loud so it's so hot but it's okay but i can just control my air auto yeah yeah so one thing that the sports model car that i first wanted because the rims were so beautiful one thing that the sports model didn't have was heated seats and like i was like oh i don't need heated seats but i have used these heated seats so much this past winter so this right here controls like how high the fan is i can turn it all the way up or i can turn it all the way down but like i said i'm gonna keep it on off for now um, this right here, this kind of like, if it's foggy outside or if there's like, um, ice all on, on the windows, I can turn these on and it will like defrost. Um, yeah, my passenger has heated seats too. Uh, this is my hazard lights, which basically just turns on both of my blinkers. Um, that's about it. 
And yeah, over here, this is my gear shifter thingy. One thing that's really cool about this car is that it has econ, which is like always on. It saves my gas, which is just beautiful, like so beautiful. I haven't filled up my gas tank in so long and that might be because like this quarantine stuff haven't gone anywhere. But on a normal basis, it, it it's like takes about like almost two weeks for me to I have to fill up my car. This is my parking brake and this is my brake hold, which I just really started using this like when I'm in the like, drive through and stuff. Basically what this does is I don't have to hold my foot on the brake until I press the gas. So yeah, I don't have to put it in park either. It can be in drive, but on brake hold. So that's kind of cool. Here's my phone. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. My phone doesn't stay there. It's like right here all the time when I'm driving. It's just right here. I don't know why. That's just where it's most comfortable. Um, we have some hand sanitizer. This is an essential right now. Whoa. It's, it should always be an essential. But this is some hand sanitizer um, that stays literally right there, does not move. Um, inside, I have some lip glosses. I have rose hip oil and mint oil um, in this little tray thing. This thing can move too. Like you can rearrange this whole thing. This can move too. But that's kind of cool. But anyways, yeah, so I have my lip glosses and then on the inside, it's pretty empty. I just have sweet pea, 24 hour moisture. I have some lotion. <laughs> and I have a pen I can't tell you guys how many times like okay well now I don't have a pen I can't tell you guys how many times like um I've been in the car with my mom and she's like does anybody have a pen like to write on a birthday card or something so I was like I need to keep a pen in my car so that's what I do but since I go to school like I have like a billion pens in here sometimes well since I went to school right here I have like a oh my I have one billion Tylenols. <laughs> Not too long ago, I was having like some problem with my feet. Like my feet were just hurting really, really bad. Like both of my legs were hurting. Um, but it was nothing serious, but I did have to take a lot of Tylenol to make it feel better. So, so yeah. Next, I have this Nike headband and I can't tell you guys how many times this comes in handy. Like my hair is just never decent. So I'll throw on this headband um, and it helps a lot. So that is pretty empty, but that's all I have in there. Oh, I can move that too, which is pretty cool. Over here, um, this is where I keep this little handy guy. This thing is so handy. So y'all are about to see y'all selves. Boom. Um, this is a, um, what is it called? Portable charger, but it is also a mirror. Like this mirror is like, it's pretty cool. <laughs> it's a very good mirror. But yeah, you can see up there it is a portable charger. I also have some Polaroid pictures in here because if you notice, I have a picture of me and Gabby right here and a picture of my super beautiful sister right there. Like, that's such a pretty picture. So that's what I keep right there and right there. So I have this in case my phone dies. And then I have this coin pouch. Um, so when I get like change back, I'll put it in here. I hate the way money smells, feels, and looks. So I have a coin pouch to put it in, um, but I don't have any coins in it yet. Also over here, I have this Listerine Cool Mint pocket pack. So basically it's a birth strip and I use this all the time after I eat. So yeah, that's just what's in this little compartment and it's like an even bigger compartment. Like you can put a lot of stuff back there. Um, as you can see, I had this little USB thingy in here that my mom got for me off of Amazon. Link in the description if you want to order it. I like this one because it is very simplistic and it's all black like the rest of my car. And um, it kind of looks kind of modern and it does not poke out very far. So it has two USBs just in case my passengers want to charge their phone. So yeah, you see like it barely pokes out, which is what I really, really like about it. So yeah, that's a humongous compartment. So there's another compartment right here. I keep this um, self alone. This is like a personal alarm. Um, I don't keep it on my keys because I would not want this to activate like at school. Well, when I was in school, I wouldn't want this to activate in school. But if I'm ever like going somewhere by myself and my parents aren't with me or something, I am not legally old enough to carry pepper spray. Um, so this is the next best thing. This is literally a personal alarm and I'm going to pull it for you guys so you guys can hear it. But I'm telling you right now, if you're wearing headphones, like turn your thingy turn your phone down to like one and if you are not wearing headphones still turn it down because this is about to be loud um i could probably like make it sound quieter in editing and all that so it probably won't be that loud for you guys but it'll be really loud for me all right so a lot of people think you just click the button no that is one way you can do it you can click the button a couple times and it will go off oh this is also a flashlight Let's see and then like it could be 
help flashlight. But yeah, so basically what you do is you pull on here. Man, that thing is so loud. Um, another way you do it, you um, press twice on this SOS button. And then you have to hold down on the SOS button for three seconds and it'll shut down. It will turn off. So this is also good. Um, I got this off of Amazon as well. It'll also be in the description box below. But this is something that I recommend all young drivers should have because you people, the world we live in, like people could really be following you and just what are you gonna do? What do you do? So like if I ever feel uncomfortable or like someone's following me or like trying to talk to me and I don't wanna talk to them, I'm like, hey, 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 man pull it and it draws attention to you so that's what this is for it's pretty it's a pretty cool neat thing all right so next up this is my glove compartment um you just pull it like that first things first i have this first aid kit also from amazon um i actually have a first aid kit in my trunk also but it's not as advanced as this one um but this has like everything you could ever need i don't even know what this is there's just a bunch of bandages in here there's a rescue blanket in here. There's band-aids. There's alcohol pads, not just alcohol. Um, but yeah, there's like a lot of good stuff in here if you ever need it right there. Um, so that is like a emergency first aid kit. And then we have the Lexi emergency kit. Um, so this is just like stuff that I put together to have to keep in my car all the time. So I have some pads because y'all never know. Like ladies, we never know. Um, I have some Mario Badescu spray. I love this spray, especially in the hot seasons. One, it cools me down, and two, it keeps my face from looking so oily. Um, but I love this spray. It's pretty great. Then I have another lip gloss, which I didn't even know I had this in here. It's not even open. Like, it's new. But I'm going to keep it in there. I have a mini lotion. I stole this from a hotel. <laughs> and then um, I had a bunch of bobby pins in here, but they all spilled out in here. So bobby pins and then i have hair ties because y'all know the drill i always need hair ties everywhere um so yeah this little cute little bag it stays right in my glove compartment and i've had to use it a couple times already there was also advil in here but i used the rest of it so i'm just gonna go ahead and put these tylenols in there in case i need it so yeah, that stays back there. So I also have, well, I also usually keep an umbrella right here. It's spring season, it's gonna rain a lot. And even though a lot of us won't be leaving the house, um, if we ever do, um, I would keep an umbrella right here. It's a little pink one and so cute and it just fits perfectly in there. Um, so yeah. As for this side of like my door and everything, this right here is a brake assist. So like basically if I'm getting too close to a car, m my car will brake for me. It hasn't had to do that yet. I'm a good driver. So it hasn't had to break for for me yet, but um, if I ever need it, it's always on, but you do have the option to turn it off. And then I'm pretty sure right here, this is lane assist. Lane assist is basically the two lane, I mean the two lines you're supposed to be within, if you start to cross over, it will, the car, literally the steering wheel will go like that and it'll keep you in your lane, um, which is cool. This right here, it pops the front of my car, like the hood pops it up this pops my trunk um this right here this left and right thing is for this mirror and then this d-pad right here just controls the mirror so i can move it up and down the right one just does the same thing but on the right side then i have my lock whatever this locks my windows um and then this right here are my windows so yeah that's what's basically on that side and it's the same thing well and then on the passenger side it's just the lock in the window. So also a feature that I really love about this car is the um, moonroof or whatever you call this. Basically it slides open and you can see the sky. I just gotta push that and look at that, it opens. That's so cool, I love it. And especially because it's starting to feel nice outside, this will be so much fun to use. I'll set my lights here, which I do not turn on because too many times I have heard about my parents like turning on the light and then not turning it off and their car's dead and I would hate for that to happen. So I don't even touch those lights at all. As for my mirror, there's these buttons that open the garage, but I don't use the garage, so 
I'll use that. That right there is pretty much it for my car tour. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm trying to keep my car as clean and simple as possible. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I am absolutely in love with my car and I hope I don't ever crash it. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Hit the post notification bell. Follow me on all of my social medias. And I love you guys so much. Hit the subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one.